What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I am coming at you guys, of course, with another new card from Eternity Code. Uh, we're going to be looking at the new Witchcraft support, and that is in the form of Witchcraft Patreonus. So this is a new, this is a continuous trap card for the Archite. It's one of the few trap cards the Archite has. You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. Uh, the first effect is you can target uh, one of your banished spellcaster monsters. Uh, or a spellcaster monster in your grave. You can target. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm butchering this up. You can target one spellcaster monster that's either vanished or in your grave, right? You'll shuffle it back into your deck. And if you do, you can add one witchcraft spell card from your deck to your hand. If this card's in your grave, right? Except during the turn it was sent there, you can banish it and then target any number of banished witchcraft spell cards with different names and add them to your hand. Uh, so this card pretty much interacts with witchcraft in terms of getting back two of the things that this archetype had a problem with getting back. One, it's monsters, and two, it's spells. Because many of the witchcraft monsters have to banish themselves and discard spells in order to activate a lot of their effects. And then also, banish spell cards, and then activate effects as well from the, uh, for them to trigger a lot of things. The crazy thing about the witchcraft is that this is an archetype that is still locked behind... Uh, the whole once you can only use the effects of this card's name uh, once per turn, and it's kind of one of the things that hurts witchcraft because you have to selectively choose which spell cards are you going to play, which ones are you not, which cards are you going to banish, which cards are you not, and that is the whole thing about the witchcraft. And with Patreonus, this literally fixes that issue uh, the fact that you can get back your banished monster or a monster in your graveyard or in exchange to getting a uh, spell card from your deck, or you can trade this card off and then get um, a whole bunch of your witchcraft spell cards with different names and add them back into your hand. That way you have uh, the, the ability to use them without hurting yourself and you get back a lot of your resources. I honestly think this is a great addition to the card and if you guys have not seen it, I'm actually going to scroll up here. Uh, because the last part of this, of course, is I want you guys to see the trap card itself. Uh, the funny thing about it is that the monster in this card has not been identified, um, except for the four in front of it, which are actually some of the witchcraft monsters themselves. I believe it's fire, water, wind, and um, I think the level six wind monster. And a lot of people are trying to see which exact monster that is in the picture of the ice court. I remember saying that it was Mystic Sand. The level 6 fusion monster. So maybe this archetype gets a fusion support card. And maybe starts to fuse itself. Or. Witchcraft does have another high level monster. That they can essentially call an additional boss monster. If they don't already call Madame Bear. And um, Golem Eruru. Uh, that. But for the most part you guys. That is it for this video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll have more videos up for you guys soon. Thanks everybody for watching. HJ signing out. Take care.